All right, just left. The journey started going to Uzbekistan. We are going to get some gifts for Sultana's relatives and just to go pick up my results from the PCR test, the paper itself. And then we're gonna be going to the bus station to take a sleeper bus to the border of Uzbekistan. It's gonna be an interesting journey. It's my first time doing something like this. Just the backpack on, go on a adventure in Central Asia. All right guys, so we're at the bus station. This bus behind me is the one, this bright orange one right here. And uh, we're gonna be on here for about 13 hours or so. There's beds on here, so at least you could sleep. And we should arrive early in the AM. So they told us to walk to Magnum, and then they're gonna pick us up from there. So the bus station that we're at is called Sidan. And it's basically a bus station, but at the same time, you have a whole bunch of people who come in, hustle and try to like with their cars and their buses and they try to gather people and uh, get clients to drive them to different places. So it's kind of like a marketplace for buses, which is pretty interesting. I've never experienced that before. Yeah, it's pretty wild. You have people from all over Kazakhstan, probably Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, people from all over the place around these areas and they just come here to try to hustle. You feel the vibe, it's like a hustle vibe. You know, people are trying to make money and stuff. It's a totally different world out here. There's a lot less rules, it's more wild, but I guess there's also more opportunity for people who want to make extra money without the government intervening. Okay guys, so we're waiting here. They said to wait here, but there's only four of us waiting, so we might have got scammed, guys. I don't know. Realistically, if you think logic, like if there's a whole bus of people, there should be like at least 10 people waiting here, but there's only four of us. We'll see interesting it's all part of the adventure for me it's all fun like even if we get scammed i'm gonna laugh about it and then you just live and learn you know but it's part of the adventure and you guys get to see it with me so it's not too bad if i have people with me okay the bus is here finally we didn't get scammed guys we were waiting at a certain spot they told us to go and then as they were driving they pointed and said down there so we had to walk even farther very unorganized guys but this is here took off the thing there. All right. So this is the bus, guys, the sleeper bus. So Tana has four, I got number three. And this is what it is, right? How do you feel? I almost took down one of the beds. All right, guys, I'm up here. It's like a jail bus. <laughs> we had to put our shoes in a plastic bag, but it makes sense. It's cleanliness, you know? It makes everything clean. People are not walking with mud all over the bus on the beds and everything. So it's pretty good. Here's the front of the bus. People are already laying down. It's 6.30 p.m. I'm gonna try to sleep a little bit. Hopefully sleep the whole time without having to go to the bathroom. That would be perfect. Wake up in Uzbekistan and then go through the border smoothly. That would be the ideal situation. So let's hope for the best. You know what, guys? It's actually pretty cozy. It's pretty comfortable. I'm gonna say pretty affordable. So 6,000 tenge each person, which is like less than $20 US uh, for a 13 hour bus ride to Uzbekistan. So pretty good deal. Better than flying, that's for sure. <laughs> This guy just came on the bus randomly. We just stopped somewhere. This guy just starts praying out of nowhere on his knees, like an Islamic prayer. And then uh, everybody gave him some coins after that. Still getting used to the customs and traditions of this place. It's fascinating. It's a totally different world. It's like being in Central Asia in the Silk Road times, just in modern times. So we're like 15 minutes into the bus ride. Someone already farted, guys. Bus smells. Someone already let it go. I don't know who it is, but there's not many people on this bus. Someone did it. And 
it wasn't me. So we're out here, we made a stop to bathroom. Bathroom's back there, you gotta pay as usual. There's a little restaurant here, something to eat. We stopped for a bit, now we're gonna get back on the bus, keep on going on our journey. So we're probably like one hour in, we still have about 12 hours left to go. The night is young, the journey is young. There's a lot more to see, a lot more to experience, baby. All right, 6.30 in the morning. The bus just left us with this guy over here. This guy's probably gonna bring us to the border. I don't know how far we are. We must be pretty close. Okay guys, after a bit of long waiting, finally made it into Uzbekistan. This is Uzbekistan soil right here, guys. First time in this country. I'm grateful to be here. I'm excited. You have to go through a lot of border procedures. relatives house oh hello hello so we just came into uzbekistan into sultana's relatives place the mom put this on the table we have some uzbek samosas here uzbek bread these walnuts right here are from the tree that they have outside natural walnuts can't really see okay guys we're in the market in tashkent uzbekistan and it is so live so much energy it's so amazing to see this with my own eyes because i've only seen it like on youtube and stuff you know super excited to come here so i'm actually here in the market it's incredible okay guys we got some stuff we're gonna leave this beautiful market it's amazing markets all over the place people selling stuff it's about 30 degrees or something i got the friggin watermelons i got the spices selling just like that it's amazing i'm gonna try this pomegranate juice which was 15,000 some so this is called Sumalek, this stuff. It's kind of like a caramel colored um, porridge kind of food. And it's made from wheat, I believe, right? And apparently it's very healthy for you. It cleans out your system. And it's the first time I'm trying this and the first time that uh, I even hear about this. So very interesting. <laughs> Ashkent, baby. Uzbekistan. <laughs> this is Buhara style Japan's gorgeous designs. It used to be that only rich people used to wear these a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, this is wow. <laughs> and is it natural or machine made? No, it's machine made. Wow. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. and these little slippers for kids. Uzbek style hats. Beautiful things here. It's like a Chopin in a stylish jacket. Very cool. Come 
back in. All right, guys, we are in the markets. You can see behind me, beautiful top of mosques, Central Asian style. People selling big carpets back there, tents full of stuff. Fruits, vegetables, nuts and dates and all that good stuff. I literally feel like I'm in like an Aladdin movie or something like that. Right now where we're at in the market, it's kind of like, I don't know, like the old mosque and like the buildings like this and the markets and the style and the people, of course, that are walking around here, the way that they're dressed, it's, uh, it gives that vibe of like Middle Eastern kind of Aladdin-ish movie, you know? Oh, I found what we came for, guys. Gold. Get some fresh juice. There's fresh shush leaks. All right, we are at a famous bazaar. It's massive. This place is huge. I think it's been around since the Silk Road times. It's very, very old. I don't know exactly. I have to do some research on it, but it is a super old place. It's been here forever. Look at the raisins. This is what raisins are supposed to look like. We got sugar, dates. Yeah. This stuff here, people present for weddings. This is like, you can give us a wedding present. I'm not sure what's inside. I guess it's probably like something sweet, something to eat, more here. What is that? It's a cat. Candies. So this is Navat. It's called Navat, right? Yeah. Crystallized sugar. Yeah. And then this is Halva, I think. Oh, look how cool this is here. Did we take us? Look at this place. Look how beautiful this is in the back. This is like people selling stuff here. People selling stuff on this side over here. They got uh, all kinds of stuff going on here. Shashlik, naan, chicken, different things. Samsas. All right, so this is our first plov in Uzbekistan. And this is what the Uzbek plov looks like.